Steve Lynch ja Steve Ani Lars Hi everybody, Russ on the West Ham Network. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a bloody good subscribe. So, um, where to, where, to, where to start? Where to start, shall we? Um, obviously, yesterday, um, myself and Anton took the decision uh, to not uh, do any live, live stream yesterday. Um, you know, it was sort of a last minute thing, obviously, our... Condolences, obviously, to to the to the royal family. Uh, you know, we just we just we're mere we're, we're mere servants, um, obviously. But um, we, we got the news, obviously, very late. Uh, well, it was made official very late. Um, so we still obviously played the game yesterday um, under a very sh- strange set of circumstances. Um, given all, um, you know the. I think it would have been a different situation maybe if it was a Premier League game. Obviously, all the Premier League games have been cancelled for this weekend, which I, uh, which which I wholeheartedly agree with. But obviously, the West Ham fans, you know, yesterday um, were impeccable. Um, you know, the minutes silence I said wasn't going to to them when they announced the minutes. It wasn't going to be a minute silence. It'll be a minute's applause, and it was. It was impeccably observed by the uh, West Ham fans and the FSCSB fans as well. The rendition of. Um, God Save the Queen was one of those special moments um, I think we'll always have. Um, and obviously, um, I think that, that I think we um, I think West Ham did did the football community proud, I think, yesterday. Um, and you'll see all the stuff on social media and all, all the sport programs and all the news programs and, you know, all the TV programs or the breakfast shows and things like that have happened over the last um, well, this morning. They've all been extremely complimentary about the West Ham fans, and it's it's nice for us to have some. I know it's obviously horrible news, but nice that there's uh, some positive vibes around around West Ham. Usually, it's usually the other way around, isn't it? Unfortunately, but um, yeah, I think they did us exemplary, and um, and so we we decided not to do it, not to do a show yesterday and the review show. So we're doing the rating show today. So you know, and and obviously we've got no um, no Premier League football tonight this weekend. Chances are, obviously, maybe next weekend as well, the Everton game in terms of when the funeral is going to be actually, uh, that hasn't been officially announced yet, or we don't know what the situation is about Silkenborg on Thursday. So we're going to play it by ASA as everyone else. I think that's the best, I think it's the best way to do it. Um, we'll also have... Um, Anton's going to be doing a, an analytics show. You guys quite enjoyed that, so he's going to be doing that this, over the weekend. Harry will be doing his five things we've learned from the FCSB game. Holly will be doing tweet all about it this week. She's there'll be no tweet all about it next week. She's on. She's on a Hindu. Whoa, Holly's going to Ibiza, and um, so she's on a Hindu. All right for some, innit? All right for some, but we'll keep going, and uh, what? And we'll still be bringing you all the content anyway, regardless of whether there's any games on. We've got some good interviews lined up with people as well, so um, stay with us, and we'll be all good. So we've got the chat quickly, and we're, we're going to do the ratings as well in a minute. Um, so good afternoon, happy hour. Respect the fact that all the games are cancelled, but I can't help but think that from the 90 clubs, do you know? You know what? I was talking to Anton about this. I think you know the the, the widespread. Adjuration, that's the right word for West Ham fans. Um, yeah, this, uh, this evening, this, uh, last evening and this morning, I had a, th- I, I was, I, I, I had a feeling that they would, they could be a possibility they'd play the game for that exact reason. You know, tens of thousands of people all over the country singing, you know, otherwise there'd be no football. And then by the time the football maybe reconvenes, she, you know, Queen Elizabeth or Elizabeth II has already been buried and it's all done. So, yeah, but it's a decision being made. And, you know, the Premier League obviously come out and made the decision um, to suspend those games for this week. I imagine they'll be played post World Cup. I don't think they'll try and fit them in for them because it's a little bit busy. I've just been looking at October looks an absolute nightmare. After a huge second half, can't imagine what would happen if we had lost last night. Weird. We're gonna, we'll talk about more specific. I think it's weird. it was just weird. It was a very strange um, atmosphere, which I hopefully will never have a situation like that again to be able to do that. Um, it's very, very bizarre. Jan, hope you're well. We showed a lot of class singing. We certainly did. Um, Downs off. I totally agree. Last night was mind blowing when we seen God Save the Queen. Respect. 
you knew it's gonna. It's, it's one of those. It's one of those. Again, it's horrible that you get these little magic moments, or, or you know. But it's one of those moments which I think will stay with a lot of West Ham fans who were there because it was just like, you know. Sometimes you know we, we you can choreograph some some things, but I, I I did have God Save the Queen lined up in case um, we needed to play it, but I didn't think we'd need to. Um, that was my. I, we had a view that they were you know FIFA wants to do a, a minute s- silence. I said, there's no way they're going to do a silence for 70 years in the thing. They're going to start clapping. And, and I said, they probably will start singing the national anthem or England or something like that, you know. And, and to be honest, the West Ham fans were absolutely brilliant. Uh, and, and to be honest, it's fair play to the Bucharest fans. You know, they were clapping as well, you know, and, and singing. So, you know, it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was nice. It was nice, wasn't it? Um, it was the best, the best of a bad situation. <laughs> I think that's the best way to explain it, wasn't it? Um, and... The fact it was absolutely pissing it down with rain as well, and it wasn't a sellout. It was just a really weird atmosphere. It didn't seem right to be doing like we didn't do any of the light shows or the fireworks or loud music, or it just didn't seem right. So as you, if you were at the ground, obviously we didn't have any. All the digi boards were set to black. We had just black and white um, images of the West Ham badge and the FCSB badge. Um, you know, obviously we put up a, you know, in memoriam image, we put up a picture of her and Bobby Moore and, you know, that type of thing. And we kept it very, anyone, I had a few messages. It was the, it was the classic chill out on chill out playlist I played. Um, and yeah, it was very, it was very, uh, very bizarre. Good afternoon, budget. We all pups, uh, pups made the hairs, didn't it? Yep, it did. Uh, goosebumps in a big way indeed. Uh, everyone's talking to each other. Sad times in our lives. It was a great lady missed by all subjects, no matter where they are. I totally agree. Um, hit the like button. Yes, thank you. Um, yep, exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter what you think about them. You know, it's their mum. It's their nan. Horrible time as always. But it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's, it's, and I don't want <laughs> to start to make this like a royal thing. But, you know, now it's like all the protocols in place. You know, we've got this, you know, and they're all, all changed. It, do you know what? It, it's. A, I was talking to Anton about it today. It's so much stuff goes planned without it being revealed. That makes sense. So, like, you know, all like I was looking good, you know, all the news people and stuff like that yesterday. They all changed to their black. They have they've had those those clothes are in the are in the wardrobe that for this exact. It's like breaking case of emergency. It's mental, and how like you know as soon as the announcement made, the websites will change. All the articles went. All that's all that's been planned for. You know, it's like it's just crazy. It's like literally press a button it just goes gadunk it's like you know it, it's an in all of the radio stations they have this blue flashy light which means that it's um sort of a, a national catastrophe and, that, and it just they literally press the button to the the sad playlist with the the news and it's mental isn't it it's, it's just so bizarre it's a really strange thing and how like charles is now you know he's just lost his mum but now he's got to go around the country meeting all like the heads of state for all like not the heads of state but the heads you know like nicholas sturgeon and 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 truss and he has to go over to ireland and northern ireland and and wales and you know anyway king charles the third isn't it king charles the third anyway afternoon lukey boy does in house david's here hope you're well james is here as well nice to see everyone so as i said the day after the games all this or the well, the daily show after the games, we, you know, if they were the weekend or whatever, we try and do a bit of a ratings. So we put together our ratings. You give me your ratings per players. Most of the time, we don't agree with it. Um, usually, I'm out or I'm out. I'm really harsh or you're really harsh. Or, but it's a bit of fun. No entertainment, music, only news channels on the pub at this weekend. Yep, can't imagine how many people are going out. No, you're totally right. You're totally right. Uh, so, same as BBC. BBC will never have that. No comedy, no comedy or anything like that is on, is on, a, is on the shows until after the it's like 10 days or something like that it's crazy uh it's like we've all os- lost our favorite aunt you can't believe she's gone as always she's be as she's always been there you're totally right and there's very few people in this world who have um probably no one in the chat i don't think who would have uh been it or, or seen anyone else in the throne unless you're sort of over the age of 70 maybe one or two but not many, not many in the chat. I paid with a twenty pound note. Can't imagine seeing money about. It's a good point. That's what Flo said to me. She went, "Daddy," she said, "Daddy, the Queen's the Queen." I was like, "Yeah, I know she's bub." She was like, "Who, who, who who's going to be on the stamp?" <laughs> Kids are hilarious, aren't they? Who? I said, "Don't open your wallet. Look at your money." 
Oh my god, she's on the money. Yeah, it's crazy. Don't forget, the national will also change it. Will be. Uh, that would be very strange to tell you. No comedy, some Miranda Mrs. Blown Boys. Not a bad thing then, is it? Uh, no, not a bad innings. I mean, she was a very old lady, wasn't she? A sad time, rain for many years. God bless them all. Indeed. Let's, 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 let's decarpen- decompartmentalise and let's talk about West Ham. You know, because you know, then, you know, ev- everyone else is, is probably a lot more you can, you know, in your own personal WhatsApp groups or whatever. Let's talk about West Ham. Let's talk about West Ham. Um... Yes, you can just say that. We're going to say it in a minute, Hamper. Right, okay, so let's start with... So, so, so my views of the game. I'll give you my views first before I go for the... the um, the, the, the advert, ad, ad, you know, the sort of the famous saying, a game of two halves, it was never... It was never truer than yesterday. Let's be honest. Um, the... the and, and actually, the I think the atmosphere made, you know, the, the strangeness um, was... It was, I think, for me, this it was just it was a strange atmosphere. Obviously, with no music and uh, well, very low level music, classical, you know, da, da. and I think that played into FCSB's hands a bit, in all honesty, because you know the crowd weren't really weren't really going for it. I think from the the first few minutes, and it was really rainy, and they set up at the low block, and they just you know we just didn't have. I think we set up wrong. I think we were set up for the wrong, you know, that their game plan. We weren't set up for that, if that makes sense. Um, the second half, we came out a lot stronger. Obviously, we made the triple sub. We went back to the Moyes, you know, where we were trying to almost play in front of them, it seemed, in the first half. Skarmacher and, and ben, Benny and I, I'll be honest. Sorry, Hammer, I'm sorry, but I forgot Lanzini was playing, I'll be honest, in that first half. But that first half, we were trying to play in front of them, where she... Well, I think for this, you know, second half, it was basically that the, the key was stretch them, balls over the top, stretch them, Antonio and Bowen, and we bulldozed them second half. I think we really did. We were all over them second half. That was my synopsis. Uh, big word, I know. Decompartmentalise. I have to say it slowly. The match for Thursday would be cancelled. I don't know, English Yardie. I personally would be surprised if Thursday is cancelled, uh, in all honesty. Um, because surely they would have probably cancelled yesterday, but they didn't. Um, I think Thursday won't be cancelled. I think we'll, I think, to, I, 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 we know this weekend will be cancelled in the Premier League, so it gives us a week until Silkenborg, who lost 1 0 away to Anderlecht on uh, last night. I mean, the rest of the Europe, Europa League games will go ahead, so it's only the West Ham, it's only the England teams you would, you English teams you'd imagine could be but i don't think there will be to be honest i think they'll be going to bell i think we're going to denmark on thursday i was a little bit underwhelmed by luca last night we'll talk about that as well every corner was was right next to me they were a shocking first half shame you didn't reach 100 she could have sent herself a telegram she could uh, they, they didn't send telegrams she didn't send telegrams was it was, it was more a card but that was it no don't think compliments will be postponed no, i agree great to see boss it was strong lineup with but uh half time was clear didn't have enough well done to Moyes for making the cuts. Won't let us cancel it. I don't think they will anyway. Standing ovation got when <laughs> when he did. Uh, it's not a home next week. No, it's away next Thursday. Um, yeah, the the game on Saturday has been cancelled. The new, sorry, the Newcastle game at home, and then I think possibly the Everton away based on when the funeral is going to be taken because you can't have it. It's a public holiday. Um, there will also be another holiday when Charles gets properly coronated. Anyway, um, cheers all. There we go. Did see uh, the Twitter from Dave Walker had a had a man playing God Save the Queen on the piano at Stratford Station. Very nice. Uh, Downs man in the match. Brilliant. Saw a lot of noble like move. Well, let's, let's move on and talk about the players. As you said, game of two halves. Moyes made a decision. Brought on three subs at half time. Wasn't working and was quite ruthless and i quite appreciated that and the the fact is again we talk about squad and our you know last year we, had, we didn't have any options on the bench yet yesterday we brought on three probably of our, of our starters and it made a big difference and it was like you know people you'd probably do the other way around which is just as good so um anyway let's start with Ariola. as i said what we do is you give your 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 comments i give mine let's change that background because that is an old background let's do let's do this let's do let's go 70s okay 70s uh lava lamp um so Ariola, my thoughts on Ariola. and uh, Freem, I hope you're on my phone. Hope you're well. Um, where's my where's my notes? Let me get my notes up. Ariola, 
I mean, the first, I mean, they, they obviously conceded. Couldn't really do much about that, I'll be honest. Um, barely troubled in the 90 minutes, in all honesty. Didn't really do much at all. Didn't really have much to do. I think it was a couple of times he parried, you know, he saved like, long shots. Apart from the goal, that was really it, wasn't it? Um, there was nothing else. <laughs> I mean, for all the... I mean, what was the possession stats? I mean, Anton's going to do something about... Um, was going to do his analysis. He likes his analysis. He can do it later on. Um, but let's have a quick look. What was the possession stats? I didn't get the possession stats up, unfortunately. Um, West Ham. It wasn't like... <laughs> I mean, they, they huffed and puffed a lot. But that was it, really, wasn't it? Really, they huffed and puffed, and they didn't really. That, that was there wasn't much else from them. Um, they had a good go. Uh, our possession stats were. Where's my stats? Where's my stats gone? Let me make that smaller. Sorry, everyone. I should have had this to hand. I do apologise profusely. Possession stats: two thirds, sixty-six percent West Ham, thirty-four percent Star Bucharest. First half was 73% West Ham, 27% Star Bucharest, and then it went to 60 40, which I thought we dominated more in the second half. Funny, isn't it? Funny how it works. Anyway, let's see what we got here. We've got uh, a four from Dave, five, six, six, not great, fairly solid, eight, fairly solid, an eight, budge, fair play. Uh, eight, seven, eight, six, sorry, that was a five, not a six, eight. Six, that's the difference between Fabs and we always have something memorable for Fabs. It's usually not a good, not good, bad pass. To be honest, Scott, now I know you like Ariola. I thought he was quite, I thought distribution wasn't great with him yesterday. I thought his communication wasn't great. There was a couple of times where Oggy, I think it was in the first half, where Oggy didn't get a call from him to clear it, and then Emerson had to clear it. He's not, he was, I, I didn't see him as good uh, or any better than Ariola and uh, then Fabianski to be honest but that's just me spits and fans of these seven six bonk get your own ratings indeed um I gave him a but a but a but a boom six okay game okay game nothing to write home about didn't have anything spectacular to do in all honesty uh, there's a slight bias against Fabianski. I think there is. I think there is. The conditions were awful for them to play in last night. They certainly were. Very wet. Very wet indeed. Uh, Pat gave us six and seven. There we go. From Truty. I hope you well agreed. This is one of his worst performances, but he doesn't pass the ball directly to, the, to their team. He doesn't. He just, he just passes it out, doesn't he? He just keep, keeps on kicking it out of the box. Straight out. And he's trying to do the corners anyway. Um, how are the matches be rearranged this mad season? It's going to be after after the World Cup, in it? They're not going to... Squ- they can't squeeze a game or two games in. Particularly, you're looking at, West, looking at our fiction. It's, it's bloody... A, there's a lot there. Um, it's like Ariel is a god that doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. There is a there is a split, isn't there? In that. Anyway, Vlad. Let's talk about Vlad. Yang gives him a seven. I mean, I thought he played okay. Um, he played okay. Uh, I mean, the cross the epic goal, opening goal. When you see it again, comes from his side, um, but it wasn't really his fault. In all honesty, um, okay, getting forwards. Final ball though wasn't great. Uh, in my in my humble opinion, it was it was okay. Um, see, I was surprised. I mean, I think you know personally, what I would have done, what I would have done, if I was David Moyes, is played Oggy and Dawson in the middle, and played Tilo as a right back because that's where he plays for Germany, just to sort of like. Just to just say, oh, Vlad, you know, you're not you're not number one at the moment. You know, there's other options here. Um, but that, that was just my opinion. Um, let's see what we've got here. Seven, seven, four, quiet game and really needs Ben Johnson back. Indeed, we do. I think he's fighting for his place. Five, areas communication and command of the area can be poor. Six, six, six. You wait for Mafia, says Florin. Uh, is Ashby still? I think he is. Six, not decided enough. Three kicks and throw-ins are atrocious. Get four, great distribution. Four, four is that, that's exactly what we're saying, Papa. Six, Vlad, six for James. Russie B goes, ba ba da ba da bum 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 Six, same as Allison. Uh, let's just quickly do this. Um, let's see who are any more... We had 
It's a good opportunity for Suha to show the attacking side, but his delivery is terrible. I agree. Suha was five yet again, came from his side and too many crosses blocks. Five is probably on the. He has a probability on the right. Uh, we have leaked a lot of goals on the right and six from Darius. So anyway, let's go. Ogger, Oggy, Oggy, Oggy. Oi, oi, oi. Um, I think again, you know, from a defensive perspective, I thought the back floor four, maybe or the back two. We're talking about Oggy and and Tierlo. For me, they they were both very strong. Um, I thought they played well. Silly yellow card he got in the second half. Uh, obviously, he came, on, came off for Dawson in injury time, which I didn't really see the point of that. But anyway, it was nice to give Dawson a clap, considering everything that's happened over you know the last sort of transfer window day, particularly. Um, played okay. Uh, a couple of times, I think he got he got lost a little bit with the ball. Um, you know, I think a better side maybe would have taken advantage of Oggy a bit more than on his side rather than Kira's side. But it was all right. It was all right. Is it the, this week's? Yes, they have been. Usual suspect, they have been. And possibly the Everton game next weekend, but it's not confirmed yet. But that, I think around that time is when the funeral is going to take place. So, yeah, um, I, you would imagine. So, six, seven, six, uh, five, seven, five, struggling with the pace, seven, professional job. When we dominate the game, we've only a few errors. How can anyone get low on a six? Well, they can do. The cut of players do with me today, I tell you. Um, six would have been a seventh game, got booked. Seven, what ha, What has he Barney about? What was he? What was his Barney about? No idea. Five of the pace, seven. Uh, Oggy said was shining well in the rain. Oggy, 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 four, four, four. Hmm. And I gave him a boom, six. Okay, game. Nothing spectacular. Let's talk about Tiro. Uh, my, my, my. My actually one of my favourite players at the moment. I think he's brilliant. I think he's just seems off the pitch. He seems really good by what Moyes is saying. He seems a real potential leader. Anthony did a show about him the other day about him, you know, captain material, and you know he's really taken this transfer with both hands, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Another good performance from the German international. He's consistent. And that's what you want. You want consistency, particularly in your defenders. Um, but consistent, good, not consistently bad. Um, there will be much harder opponents he's up against um, in, in subsequent games. Uh, I thought he formed quite a nice partnership with Oggy. Uh, I thought it was okay. And obviously then when Oggy went off, he moved on to the left just for that last couple of minutes. And I love the, the versatility of a player can just do that and just, yeah, no probs. Um Allison said, I think this is Oggy, six good in the air, but cannot turn and push off the off a pace. Oggy looked good without much opposition, but he's still slow, I agree. Seven, 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 nine from Pat Holland fan, eight, seven. It's funny about Kira though, he makes his share of mistakes, but overall still comes up the best defender. I totally agree. I like the way he jumps. If you watch him, he does this jump and he's like he proper leaps and he proper like headers it and his legs get tacked up inside. It's very, very sweet. Um, but he, he's uh, he's a he's a very good. I think he's a very good defender. Very good defender. I, I, I get I'm so impressed with him. Um, I think he for me, he's um, he's he just oozes class. I just think he's a classy defender. Eight man of the match, seven. Looking forward to him again. Me too. Seven, seven. A great signing. Uh, would like to see him with Dawson. That'd be quite interesting, I think, as a dynamic with Dawson. Maybe, maybe on Thursday if if the game goes ahead. Who knows? Uh, Russie B gives him a ba da ba da bum 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 seven seven. I think that's a good score. Seven. Anyway, let's talk about Emerson. Um, I think uh, what we got here. Great signing. Seven. Kier was good. Solid passing and saves Rice dropping too deep to collect the ball. Great shout, David. That's a great shout. Although he does, doesn't he? He just moves into like the left. Almost like they play like a back three. He just drops in there. Anyway, let's talk about Emerson. Let's talk about Emerson. Emerson, Emerson. Um, let's have a look at my notes as I'm bringing them up on my phone. Multimedia. Um, what have we got here? Uh, got caught napping for the first goal. First goal, I think, definitely. Um, he could have um, done better. Uh, the cross came in from the right side and he, he didn't really clear it as well. Um, he got booked in the second half, I remember, um, when he went up for a header. 
uh, which was quite a soft one. But then he just became this, like, he was, like, I really like his attacking prowess. I really like the way he gets forward. I really like the way he was playing like a 10 sometimes. And he scored the goal as well in a really sort of attacking position that you would imagine someone like uh, Ben Rama or someone in almost like a left-sided mid, like up front player. It was really, you know, I mean... I mean, he's not, you know, for me, he's, it's the defensive side I'm slightly worried about. But in terms of an attacking force, it's it's really refreshing. I, I, I think attacking force, I think it's really good. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, Emerson, six, six, impre- eight, impressed me, said James. Seven as he scored, a little clumsy in the ball. First half, not so good, but really improved. Happy with his signing now, I've seen that performance. I think everyone was the same happy, I mean, I don't think anyone really came out that first half with you know all the praise so seven never left back but going forward really good six a mixed bag would have had a six but seven for the goal seven got a goal pretty good going forward was slow for the goal against us they was best game and got the better and got better as the game went on monster particularly in that second half like where he was breaking but he wasn't just going down the wing he was breaking inside and I, little one twos and i liked it um these bit more time i think James has put seven up. He knows no half points. His game good going forward, but loses man too often, letting players in the back post a little bit often. Better teams would have punished us. Maybe he liked his attitude. He's not playing around. Sloppy defending those six. Rusty B gave him a seven. Seven for Emerson. I thought he had a good game as a whole. He probably, I, I probably would have had him down for a six, but the goal is, as I think Samus Ludders gave him a seven because that shows, you know, and that's what we want. We do want like attacking fullback sometimes, don't we? We do want guys, you know. We, we said that about Soufal, you know. In he he his final ball, his final delivery was 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 not very good yesterday. That needs to improve. But actually, I quite like that to our left hand side, particularly second half. Let's talk about Declan Rice. Um, do you know what I thought? You know, all things considering, yesterday was a, was a was a just a bizarre set of circumstances and for me we sometimes you know for me i sometimes i I question his club captain ability if that makes it that's a word you know what i mean being quite a young 23 is a lot a lot of responsibility but i thought yesterday's performance showed particularly the second half but also in the first half he did get you know he's a he's a, he's a terror he just terrorizes defenders he he just gets it always gets a toe end always seems to get a little toe end of a ball away from somebody he intercepts so many balls um i thought he was i thought he was really good yesterday um, particularly the second half, more commanding, you know, drifting out onto the left sometimes, you know, putting those more those spraying balls in. He's getting, he looked, um, he he looked much more like Declan Rice. That makes sense if, if, if he can. Um, <coughs> let's see what we got. Eight, both penalties there. Ranky took it so well. We, yep, eight. Rice, Rice, baby. Eight, seven. Captain Rice looks class every game. Don't think it was his best game. Six. Woke up towards the end. Yep. <coughs> Declan was better last night, but still looking a bit weary. Eighth from Budgie, seven, passed a bit off, but he was trying hard. Quality penalty, it was indeed. Eight, not minus eight, I'd imagine. Slow start, much better in the second half. I think that's basically the, the tagline for that whole game yesterday, to be honest. I meant the whole team, J. Emma. Eight, seven or an eight. Russie B gave him a... Uh, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da, bum. Eight, I've no idea what that noise that song was. It just... Just freestyle it. Game and eight. Let's move on. Let's move on to Flynn Downs. Flynn Downs getting a start. What's going on in this world? Really? Davy Moyes was bigging him up in the press conference. And his first start for the club. First start for his club. First start for the club he supports. <coughs> and I thought he was mesmeric. I thought for someone coming in with all those circ- again weird circumstances as well, um, and and coming in for your your home for your your club debut for the club you support, he must have been like so like ready you know so jittery as well because it must have been although he's putting a brave face he must have been actually shooting himself I would have been um, I thought he was brilliant I thought he was really good him and Rice beautiful little partnership they set up in a way i know obviously the games have been 
we know why the game's been cancelled on Sunday. If they weren't cancelled on Sunday, it would, I think it would have been an interesting decision what Moyes did with the team selection. He probably would have put Sujet back in if he was if he'd recovered from his knock. But old Flinney has put a big marker down. I thought that game, you know, what he can do. There was a lot of passing, and, and you know, it was a bit like a bit like Declan Rice before he went. He started to get forward a bit. Do you know what I mean? He's had that sort of reassurance. There was some lovely little passing between him, Rice, nice little triangles as well. Um, got forward a little bit. Got more and more involved as the game went on. He, um, although he's a small, smallish lad, he he he's a he's stocky, isn't he? He, he does think it doesn't get pushed over the ball. Likes to mix it up. I thought it was really good. Um, Rob's put a terrier, um, and I love that. It's a great shout. Yeah, he's a terrier. Yeah, real like you can see the you can see the um, the comparisons with what's his name with Declan with, with Mark Noble definitely uh, eight pass him is a bit off man of the match eight eight bless him uh, his family must be amazing uh, eight. Uh, nine, eight, 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 seven. Uh, Downs was a Terry had the ball. Well, eight. Downs look quality gives plenty around him. An option allows him to find space. Agreed. Very promising first appearance. Eight, eight. Downs uh performance allowed Rice to get forward more. Eight. Good hook. Keep it simple. Yeah, he keeps it simple. And I think I was listening to Gonzo and Gio yesterday, and, and they were saying how you know he could he, you know West Ham fans will end up labelling him like they did with Mark Mister Sideways. But actually, sometimes you need that. You know, it's, it's not about being silent, it's about keeping possession. And, you know, he had, as I said last season, he had the highest pass completion rate of any any Englishman in the top five divisions, isn't it? Or is it, or is it any player in the top five? Or something ridiculous like that. So you can see why. Russie B. Russie B gave him a eight man in a match for me. Sideways, but at pace. That's what I mean. You know, exactly. As long as it's getting to feet quickly, it can quickly set up pace. You know, it's keeping the ball as well. Um, but I was very impressed by him. I thought he was very good. Let's talk about Lanzini. Uh, right. Okay. As I said, in all honesty, I forgot he was playing. When I did my tech, when I did my... I was doing like... Uh, after the game, I was in the car park, just doing my numbers, just so it's in fresh in the mind. And I only had 10 players. And I forgot to put Lanzini in there. I'm sorry, Happy Amaret, but I did. It wasn't his night. And I think... There you go. There you go. Uh, he wasn't great. Uh, actually, thanks, lovers. Yeah, give it a like. Give this video a like. I uh, appreciate it. Always helps out the channel with all the likes and gets in more people's eyes and we get more people watching that type of thing. Good engagement, as they say. Um, yeah, he just wasn't his night, was it? Um, again, I think that we were set up wrong. You know, we were trying to play a, a sort of ticky-tacky game, it seemed, against a team who are quite happy to sit back and let us play ticky-tacky, but wasn't breaking through. So, didn't work. Didn't work. And fair play to Moyes. Half time, nah, you're too lightweight. I think same with Benny. Scumacca looks knackered. You off, you're on. Okay, sorry, I keep knocking the mic. I do apologize. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't have a great game at all. Uh, two wasn't great. Four, four was he playing for? Let's brush over Lanzini indeed. Three, his time has passed. Was he even there? People respecting happy indeed. Five, not his best. I forgot about Lanzini. Four, four. Just a bystander. He seemed preoccupied taking those first two half corners. Three, ten for the eye candy. There we go. Rusty B gave him a five. Maybe a little bit generous, but just not. He's just nah. It's not working, is it? It's not working for Lanzo at the moment. I think he's he's. We've got we've got players ahead of him now. Quite a few, I reckon. Um, right. I saw about Ben Rama again. I think Benny was the same. It just. The setup was wrong. I mean, Lanzini was too lightweight in that midfield. I thought, when that sort of front three, or sort of, no, the, the three, I don't know what you really call it, that, that forward three, I don't know. He was, creating, you know, those, they had big centre backs, and big defenders, and they just, yeah, and stocky guys, and didn't work. Same as Saeed, it, it didn't work as well. It just, you know, he was hauled off at half time, didn't really get going at all for that 45 minutes. Similar case to Lanzini, in all honesty. Not really going to go too much out of it. 
five, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Six, five, five at his best. Not on the right, please. I know they tried to... Well, they sort of moved it around, didn't he? He started on the left, and then he went on the right. Him and Corne switched. I like the fact they can do that. Benny wasn't at his best. Six, five. Russie B also gives him a five. We'll just move on from Benny. Wasn't a great day at the office for somebody who's been our most consistent player this season. Um, let's talk about Corne. Let's talk about Maxwell Corne. Uh, six, five, five, six, six. Oh, sorry, five. Um, don't know why I keep saying the wrong numbers. Corne obviously survived the, the half-time cull. Um, he was really, you could tell, he was trying to make things happen. Um, he was trying to, you know, what I like, as I said, what I like about Corne is he turns, first thing he does is he wants to run forward. And I really, we need that. We need that impetus. It's great having sideways players. You're totally right. But then it's, the next thing is going for it. You know what I mean? And I, like, I do like the way that he does that. Um, he got the penalty, which... In a week where we've had issues with VAR, that penalty wasn't a penalty, let's be honest. And I think one of the, 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 second, the second goal was offside. But hey-ho, it doesn't matter. Just, we, yeah, it, sometimes, you know, in my opinion, um, that, neither of those goals should have standed, but it doesn't matter. Um, he was probably the only sort of decent... Him and Deck, Flynn as well, first half, OK performances. Second half of the game stretched a little bit after the first goal, obviously, but then Corner had gone off um, because he'd give it, he got injured on the penalty. Uh, looked like concussion, so hopefully he's all right. Um, but I thought we, I thought we had an OK game. He, he tried hard. Um, we got seven, six, Maxwell House, seven. Had a, a mixed good game and bad. Six, five, six was a dot in a... Was in a was a dog in a fight, didn't back down. You're totally right. Just he kept on going, didn't he? I love that. I love that. Was a bright spot in the first half. Showing about the injury indeed. Seven seven worked hard. We'll get better. Uh, Maxwell deserves more credit. Eight uh, afternoon from what I saw, we could have done better. Uh, a six from Corne. Seven six seven. Um, good job. Games are cancelled if he was concussed. Won't miss game indeed. How slow. How slow Benny is, very apparent. Yeah, true. Wasn't offside, a defender played the ball, I know. But it, it looked a bit weird, didn't it? Someone needs to teach in the offside, well, I know, I know. But it, it looked weird, didn't it? Because we didn't see the re I didn't see the replay. But the, the penalty wasn't a penalty, let's be honest. It wasn't. Uh, I think there's an argument that if we hadn't won a penalty, would have we won? Not saying we didn't deserve. Good point, yeah. Benny has a five, indeed. Corne, I gave a six. Well, he played a, he played a, you know. Again, he's, he's bedding him in and people have got... You know, the team around him needs to know how he plays as well as the vice versa, in my humble opinion. Let's move on and talk about Scott Mackey quickly. Um, obviously, first game back from injury. Um, and and it showed, let's be honest, it showed. You know, he, he, he looked like a player who just come back from 10 days, 10 days of uh, an illness and virus. Didn't we, really, you know, he, he didn't look match fit. Um, I think he was sort of not thrown in there, but I think it was like, you know, Antonio needed a rest and, and, and you could probably get hot. I think, I reckon he was always going to, if, if the the game would have probably gone the way, he'd have probably been always hauled off at, at 45 or 60 minutes anyway. Um, it was a shot which he scuffed, which he probably should have done better. But what... What I think I like about Skomak is, and there's, there's been some little bit of criticism on Twitter, and I was like, really, really, the guy, the lads just come back, you know, from injury. It's not his, it's not his great, you know. I mean, it's the first, it's the first start. We hasn't scored, so there we go. He'll come good, and what I like about him is his positioning. He always gets into the right positions, and there was some nice passing. You know, there was there was some. Uh, he was open enough to take the ball and turn and run rather than play. There was one point where about four or five defenders over him. He was still. I mean, he's a beast. He'll come good. He'll come good. And I think the setup wasn't right. I think I'd like to see him and Paquetta as, as a duo together. I think that would be very special, uh, and that would probably be the way we go forward anyway. Six, we'll lose 10 0 if we play them like this. Well, we're not playing them this week, Epic, so it's all right now. Although, haven't Newcastle got a massive. When they're getting uh, Carrius, the ex Liverpool goalkeeper, on emergency loan because they're so desperate for players at the moment. Five, four, five, five, not a great day. Uh, Andre, hope you're well, my friend. Hope you're well. Uh, I thought your your fans were, were brilliant. I thought they were really. I thought they were brilliant. Uh, I really. Uh, they, they, they sang. 
and they were very respectful for the for the um, minutes applause well minutes silence slash minutes applause uh no antonio looks like he just got his husband yes exactly i totally agree six didn't look that interested to me and that one on one miss i don't think he was in i just i just don't think he's uh, he's, he's match fit yet um back to back to earlier played as if he was more concussed after top down hope you won my friend if he wasn't recovering he should be on three goals that off still made things happen he did uh five five is returning for to do well yep I, that's what i thought as well so i gave him i gave him a five as well as much as i don't want to gave him a five because it wasn't a great game for him at all um but you know i think it's uh i think we'll i think we'll do better I think, you, of course, you'll do better. Now, I don't usually do the subs, but I'm going to talk concentrated subs a little bit as well. Because the subs basically won us the game. <coughs> Didn't they? So, um, so yeah. So, I thought... Um, oh, that's very nice. Respect from Romania. Congrats to the win. Let's hope you'll be qualified before the last round and we'll win at Bucharest. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Uh, thank you, Andrea. I appreciate that. And don't don't be a stranger. Keep on here. Come, you know, chat to us. Um, right, let's talk about Bowen. Um, obviously, at half time we brought on Bowen, Paqueta, and Antonio. Not bad substitutions to make immediately at half time. And and basically, Bowen did what Bowen should do: turn and run at players. Do you know what I mean? He he, it's almost been like he, he's gone back. Bowen went back to basics yesterday. Back to what he's good at: turning round and just running running on that right hand side and just terrorizing the game plan was you know it seemed that the game plan in the second half was go back to old west ham old david moyes west ham you know balls over the top long balls stretch the defenders antonio central and left bowing sort of more the right hand side and just then pull those defenders apart and i thought he did that very well didn't have much to do until, until the penalty got the penalty and from then on that sort of gave him the that's that was like his confidence boost in my opinion and then he was like terrorizing very unlucky to not have scored um towards the end as well and when that sort of cross from paqueta that came across great ball across from paqueta and he was like inches away i thought he was he's he's taken him about same six weeks or so but he's getting there isn't he seven and terrors in beast mode seven uh, nearly seven, almost back eight, seven. Jared is picking up sharp skin. Seven, seven. Looked hungry. It's a great shot, David. Eight, eight. And also, one of the, I'm just thinking about it. If the if the Premier League can if the Premier League cancel obviously the Premier cancelled this weekend, if they cancel next weekend as well, which they could do, someone like Bowen has got the opportunity to because that's no Premier League football for two weeks. So anyone who's in, who's playing european football next I, I imagine thursday's game will go ahead unless it's a change from fifa but i very much doubt it you wait yeah fifa rather this gives it bow an opportunity to show should go himself what he can do above everyone else because it, it, it's a clear week do you know what i mean and there's, there's two less premier league games so hopefully we'll start on thursday if we play it if we, if, if we play the game at silkenborg and and he'll just do what he does best and so we'll see look more like he was us yeah agreed seven 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 eight yeah uh seven eight worth an eight having the ball snatch the roof on that with that penalty indeed was it that good as some people were saying i thought he was we was average at best we were average at best um but the second half we played a lot better i think you know the first half was very poor the second half i thought we played a lot better so therefore probably you know an even kill it was an average game i think uh it is cancelled aviva in offered for uefa games really i oh, will see we'll see what happens john uh, it hasn't uh UEFA haven't come out yet did it haven't they i don't think they would do because it's like they didn't do it yesterday uh we'll see all they've said is that they're saddened yesterday uh let's have a look british club set for champions league decision as queen's death uh yeah, i was having a quick look now uh maybe they may be allowed to rearrange their upcoming oh that's actually to about champions league but i imagine that's the same with the others we'll see it might do we don't know yet we don't we don't know we don't know yet do we we'll see 
Um, so I gave him a seven. I thought he played very well. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's taking. He's taking a lot longer than we thought it was going to take. Let's talk about Paqueta. Obviously, he came on with Antonio and Bowen. Obviously, still, you know, still, you know, uh, that's the position he's going to play. Is an integral position in the team in the in the formation. So it's going to still take time to sort of get that. And he also, I, I wanted him to play front. I always play with uh, with Skomaka. I didn't want him to, play, you know, I didn't want Skomaka to play with Lanzini, for example. No disrespect to Happy Emirate, but I think Skomaka and Paqueta together would be a very, very sexy duo uh, on the pitch and off the pitch as well. God, um, he's, I mean, he's in essence set up the penalty um, with that little the ball over for. You have scum out for a corner and the keeper to clash, and then we get the penalty. Um, he put a beautiful ball in uh, towards it with uh, where Boeing just couldn't get it in time. Some lovely balls. Um, I think sometimes you just got to rein him in a little bit because he seems to want to do everything. He seems to want to play an eight, he seems to want to play a ten. We've, we've got players who can play that position, that eight. Just I want you to be the creative guy, you know. But I, I love his I love his work ethic. Um, what we got here? Uh, can I talk to you about our Lord and Master Paqueta? Six, six, seven, seven, seven. Seeing the hype, seven. What a player! No need to feed Scar. Yep, need him indeed. Uh, there's no one better than Lucas Paqueta. He's one of our own. Or pack six, very good, very good. Russy B gives him a seven as well. Seven. Let's talk about Mikhail Antonio. Of course, he came on as well. Triple sub. Liked it. I liked the conviction for Moyes. He had to go for it in the second half, and he did it. He didn't wait 10 minutes. Didn't wait till 60. Half time off, U3 on. Loved it. Paul's in the chat. Are you all, Paul? Uh, winning. Happy birthday, everyone. Indeed, we won a game. Hope you're happy, man. Oh, you won't be your Paul. Um, anyway, um, Antonio, obviously... He was playing the role, which I think is going to be his role for the next season or maybe 80. I don't know how long he's going to be still go, but literally second half. I mean, obviously, he probably came about 15 minutes early and I think probably Moyes wanted him to, like before the game got kicked off. Um, you know, Antonio with, you know, that was probably his best, in my opinion, one of his most physically dominating 45 minutes that I've seen with him for a long time. Reminiscent of the 30 minutes against Wolves last year, and everyone knows members that. Um, he was physically dominating their centre half, who was probably about a, a foot tall on him. He was massive. That number 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 six I think he was huge bloke, um, and was stretching their back line. You know, you can see that was literally the that was the game plan. You know, um, obviously scored. You know, to seal the tie, basically, in a good a good goal. Um, yeah, five minutes earlier, he swung and missed and skied a shot like straight up in the air, which was like basically Antonio. And I know, I think it's James in the chat. Does Antonio random number three to eight? That was a three, and then he got himself an eight. But I think actually the challenge of having someone like Skomakil now is bringing the best out of Antonio, which is what we want. We want two players. We want we want Skarmaka to, you know, be final cylinders and Antonio. And it's, it's a dogfight between the two of them or, or it's half each or it's 60 and 30. And that's what we want. And and that's what Skarmaka is, is doing to Antonio. He knows he's got to be on it. And because he doesn't have maybe the, you know, over the last few weeks, because skomaka has been out, he's had that pressure and he's played very well. He hasn't, he hasn't you know, been taken off or anything he hasn't got injured but he's been running that, that line on his own now he's got that number two or, or they can switch between them i thought he was really good i thought he was really good mickey eight 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 best off the pit bench yep nine eight truly was random to it was random defense ragged eight this was the best four of our mates has played over a year that's why he needs to be an impact indeed Sir, uh, Antonio's back eight Russie B gay I gave him a seven but actually I'm going to change that as could be an eight see I, I, I I'm a fickled fan but I'll give him the eight because he scored the goal as well I forgot about the goal really <laughs> in all honesty uh, let's talk about Pablo quickly um I'm glad you stopped copying me. Mickey, the goal scoring tank is back. That's what he should be, though, isn't it? 
And to be honest, that's where, as I said, I, we all, I always look at how Wolves used Traore, and they used it. They, they barely started him. He was always off the bench. And you can imagine when, you know, if, if Skomak has been running people ragged for 40, for 60 minutes or whatever, and then for the last half hour, Mickey Antonio comes on, fired up and ready to go in proper beast mode. There we go. Uh, Sweat Pablo, he came on obviously for Corne, um, played a part in the second goal, uh, and nearly found, nearly scored himself with that. You know, it was a really good save from their goalkeeper. Um, it's just his energy. We miss you miss his energy when he's not on the pitch, um, and I thought that's what we we missed a lot in the first half. Um, just that dynamism that he brings in the midfield. Um, but that's just me. Uh, what we got here? Uh, seven, seven, seven. Elbow seven. Six looks shot to come on. Uh, seven, seven. Fornicator, love this guy. He does. Uh, seven could have been quicker to shoot a couple of times. Yeah, I think it's budge. I think that's pretty much most most of us. We don't. Our players don't seem to have that sort of hit and go. You know, just like you know that sort of speed. It always takes a second too long. It's almost like they, do, they just sort of get themselves prepared to take a shot. Um, seven, a six, seven. Rusty B also gave him a seven. And also, I know I don't, and and, and obviously uh, he only came on for two uh, a minute, so I'm not going to um, give him a score. But obviously, it was great to see Dawes come on, wasn't it? He came on in in injury time for uh, Oggy, got a massive round of applause, got some chance. You know, super Craig Dawson. We've got Craig Dawson, Ballon Dawson, um, and it was nice to see him back on the pitch. Um, particularly, you know, with everything, you know, it's it's weird when a player is ready to leave. And you know he's leaving for family reasons, and those those reasons didn't 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 happen. You know he didn't didn't get the move. Um, but you know ever the professional keeps going, hasn't kicked up a fuss, um, and yeah kept a clean sheet. Kept a clean sheet indeed. Um, yeah, so I thought it was all in all it was a performance which was professional. First half wasn't very good. Second half a lot, lot more professional. Uh, one game for Mickey does not make it something. You're totally right. It wasn't even a game, Paul. Half an hour. 45 minutes, rather. Uh, loads of love for, for Dulce. It was great seeing him back, indeed. 10 for staying. 8. Such a great pro. That's what I mean. I think, you know, you get... For every, for every people you get, you know, people who are sort of mercenaries. Yeah, you, know, you look at people like Nautovic and people like that. People like Dulce. And I think it was it was I know it was strange that he came, but I think it was really good that he got a couple of minutes. He got like a minute and just to get the roar of people coming in and just, you know, chanting his name and stuff. It was nice to see. Uh, it was all good. Oh, and peeps, well, as I said, um, we'll be doing a Holly show to it all about this this week weekend. Obviously, there's no there's no previews or anything or pressers or anything like that, because obviously the game has been postponed uh, for uh, the Newcastle game. Uh, all the pro- all Premier League games are postponed, obviously, uh, because of the sad news that uh, on uh, yesterday about the the Queen. Obviously, we were we were in it, weren't we? West Ham fans were proper in it. Um, this is really bizarre, such a bizarre thing. Um, and obviously, you know, we did. I thought we did. Uh, I thought the West Ham fans and the FCSB supporters were were brilliant yesterday. They were really good. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, because of that, we won't have any previews or anything like that. Obviously, there's no games. But what we will have is we'll have Harry's shows uh, where we've got um, five things we've learned from FCSB. Um, we'll have Holly's show, tweet all about it. We'll have Anton's going to do his uh, Antonalize. Antonize. That's what I'm going to call it. Antonalize. Um, show where he looks at some analysis. I think we'll be looking at mainly Flynn Downs and what he can bring. Um, and all that good stuff. So make sure you check us out. Uh, keep an eye on the channel. As I said, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you made aware anytime we put new content on. As always, I'd like to thank all of our lovely channel members. Um, and as always, I'd like to thank them all personally at the end of each show. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay healthy. Um, stay dry. Very wet, particularly in Church. Very wet at the moment. And uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon. So, ta-ta, my friends. Bye, bye. Change.
Yeah.